come with the power trick spot. This is set me. No, no time here, me say. Is it them can do it or them no want to do it? May I give you an example today? And this one surrounds the topic of extortion. As you know, extortion is a major problem in Jamaica. Not only is it a nuisance for people who are ready, right, working, or have business establishments, but it's a deterrent for other people who want to set up right, businesses in Jamaica and employ some Jamaicans. It's a serious right, issue for the country. Now, let me tell you the story. Right? When I was to say, when they want to act swift, they can act swift. Everything in that story. Yeah. But before I go any further, I want to send a Patreon birthday shout out to none other than Cain. I will not talk about Cain the wrestler or Cain from the Bible. We talk about Cain Harvey from the Patreon squad. So, we know say it's a belated birthday, but big up yourself, see me. Hope you had a great day. And thanks for the continued support. See, Cain, big up yourself. Make a move into the video. A uh, security guard by the name of Shamari Hebert. Iman is, I guess, well, employers are former employers at this point, I'm guessing. Right? Had some kind of dispute over like an insurance money. Right? From me, I see also, he mentioned TTD insurance. And Shamari Hibbert came up with the, I guess in his mind, genius plan. He called them right, and threatened to bomb the Canadian Embassy, the Canadian High Commission. Yes, a security guard, right, look like him know the place, familiar with the place, right, as in the embassy, right, call under disguise and say my bomb the place. Listen to this, and this is coming from the star, right, but this, this is coming from a court case, right, so this is an actual story. Him call them and I pretend like, say, right, based on how I read it, it's like him I pretend say somebody else. Right, a call on fee behalf. And the person I tell them say, right they, they know to send a check. Right. And they have 48 hours right, to make sure so the money reach in them account. Or they go throw a bomb over the Canadian embassy. And they go start kill other people who work for the security company. Before I go any further, let me just say this. Shamari Hebert. I don't know what kind of dispute you have surrounding pay. You might be in the right when it comes down to that. Right. Well, let me tell you something. You look it's like starch and I don't get charged for. I don't know who gave the idea. Yeah? I don't know if you come up with it, but I tell you that you look it's like starch and I don't get charged for. Threatening for bomb and embassy is one of the most egregious things that you can come up with in your mind. Based on how international law is set up, right? attacking an embassy is like attacking the country itself. Right? So. Just consider it fortunate it's like extortion alone them charge for. But I want to understand some people. After they make the call and the trips were made, they yeah, demand five hundred thousand dollars and said them forty it was to pay. After the investigation, them see right through that, they will on Shamari and them charge him. He's now before the St. Andrew Parish Court. Right, because of the court they read this out. He's due to um appear Again, let him remind him until April 26, when another bail application is to be heard. Say that jail us now. So not only them figure out say him, I make the call, but then not just charge him, right? But then remind him. You see how fast them react when it means extortion and money and bomb embassy. The excuses for them give the people in Hanover who are get extorted by your favorite jailbird down, forced induction. The excuses that them give business people in Spanish town, Kingston, the vendor them, people who right, come all the way from some far place in Jamaica, wake up early in the morning, jump in a market truck, right? The way really the people them tired them asleep in that truck and they to town. When they reach a town them set up, right, and then as soon as them set up, here comes their favorite quote unquote bad man. Start making demands, tell the people them where them figgy and buy when. The government said them, we try everything we can, we just can't hold on them and we can't 
get them from the extortion. It's just so hard. It's so hard. We can't bring them. It's so hard. You see them say it's very difficult to bring an extortion case because the way how man, the, the way how people do extortion right, in our courthouse, them can like argue and say, well, you know, well, no man, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it a bigger thing. I don't really mean it. So it's kind of difficult right, for them charge of the extortion. You know? Well, according to them, right, this is just one of the excuses that they come up with. Right. So when, you know, a Hanover businessman or a uh, St. Catherine businesswoman or whoever get extorted, them say, well, you know, even though, yet, even though you show me the letter and you tell me, sir, I'm and this is the number, it's just so hard for me to charge them. That doesn't apply, right? So, you know, hard for them to charge Shamari Hebert. You know, hard because once him start demand 500,000 and start talking about one embassy, all of a sudden, you know, hard again. Man get lock up and man get remand fast. You see, them can't do it, or them don't want to do it. So, Jamaicans will continue to get extorted. Right? And you continue to hear the same excuses. Right? Only if you look for a case like this and wonder, right? Then I will come, right? It's not hard for all of them, man. The government of Jamaica knows it, even though it's just a threat. And I'm, I don't know Shamari Hibbert, obviously, but I'm fairly confident he was not going to bomb the Canadian embassy. Right. Even if he snort ten line of diet coke, right, in a that full fool. Right. But just uttering the words was enough to get people spooked to the point to them said this brother need to come off the road, but the extortion they're moving for because. I'm going to mention, say, give him 500,000. Give him 500,000 within 40 hours' time. That's exactly how criminals extort business people, you know. Either them write letter or they make call, right, and them say, oh, give you X amount right, every Tuesday or within the next three days. People file report, they say, well, we can't do nothing. It's it difficult for it. You know, difficult, you no. Know. Up in no who for frighten as them say. And Shamari Hebert made the mistake of frightening the Canadian Embassy and frightening some people who the Jamaican government consider to be very important. Right? Pipe, him try to extort him own a security company. They have to make an example of him and show him say, no run certain joke so. Even if I even if you're a comedian, no run certain joke so. That they must show him. What is it that they can do it or they don't want to do it? If you are telling me that the government, right, with all the tools at their disposal, cannot do more right, to deal with the issues of extortion, gangs, criminals extorting people, right, making demands from people, right, taking people out of their homes. When I realize realized that certain places in Jamaica, Bad man just moving a people yard. Just moving a people yard and then I feed them one now. You know which one they can't move going now? You can't even embassy. You know for property they can't right? violate the US embassy, the British embassy, the Chinese embassy. They better stay far from them places. Eh? Because them even make one clappers go off. Near this, so. They might go find out who a bad man. This youth right there, so. Shamari Hibbert. He played a stupid game and he won a stupid prize. Trying to extort a company when you know you. And then I go add in bombing an embassy. It was never going to work out. And I said, then I will give the advice. But it was terrible advice. So just look on a case like this and know, say. It all boils down to priority. Who get priority? Who for case matter? Who for case important? Where you say Miss Joe and her shop are getting started? Well, we are going to try to talk to them and we are going to try to see. We make them know what happened. Security company get started. And man say, if you get the money, you might go bomb embassy. What? 
anywhere him there in the world, you could find him by your morning. Interesting. Anyway, Ultra Squad, be open yourself. Yeah, you don't know. More life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.